Good morning everyone, uh, my name is Ashley Cooper and uh, here at uh, Brisbane International site at Tennyson is a shot of me playing uh, in 1958 at, uh, that's at the Fruit Park Tennis Centre so I hope everyone's enjoying the Fruit Park uh, YouTube site Good morning, uh, Hugh Lund from YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to talk to Mel Anderson about his his, uh, his friend and opponent, Ashley Cooper. Ashley and you were doubles partners. You, you were competing closely for years. What can you tell us about Ashley? Yeah, well, Ash, Ash was a very tough competitor. Yeah. Very, and he was a very fit guy had good solid ground strokes, wasn't probably the greatest athlete on the court, but he had such heavy ground strokes. But yeah, we, uh, we we didn't play a huge lot of doubles together. Our first doubles tournament happened to be in the French in 1957, and because uh, uh, we weren't seated because we never played together, and we, we won the French without losing a set. That oh, was wow. always best of five sets then. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, it's funny, uh, we used to play the Queensland, and Ash had come up and beat me there. And, yeah, it. because I was from Queensland, he was, of course, from Victoria in those days, until we uh, introduced him to Miss Australia. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and then uh, we go down to Victoria, and I beat him down there. <laughs> why? Why was that? I, I don't know uh, whether it was the courts. I think we each tried too hard, you know, on oh, your yeah, own stage, yeah, yeah. and a bit of pressure on it and that. But uh, no, Ash and I, you know, we played uh, a couple of years in the Davis Cup together. Cup together and, yeah. And I've become very good friends, uh, you know, even though we had some very tough matches and you win and lose some. When you turned pro, you would have played against each other? Uh, we did, yes, but Ash's career was brought short because of a bad elbow injury oh. and he didn't get to play that much. But uh, Ash has done wonderful things for this state in tennis yeah. and uh, being president and uh, he is partly a big responsibility of, of having this tennis centre. The new and along with, yes, uh, with Chris Freeman and a couple of others, and uh, he just worked for four years there, you know, I don't think Hal and his wife would have seen him after, you know, yeah. with the meetings and that, so yeah, he's done a wonderful job, and uh, we're very good mates, you know. Yeah. yeah, and how come you remain good mates after having such a competitive uh, nature? When well, Harry, the late Harry Hopman, when we used to travel in the 50s and 60s and that with the team, uh, he said, look, if you had to play one of your team members travelling with, go out there and he's your enemy. Mm -hmm. But he said, when you walk off that court, and if you carry that uh, grudge off the court, he said, I got your air tickets. He said, I'll give it to you and you can go home. Wow. And he would have sent you home. Mm -hmm. And I, it, it stuck with us that, okay, you know, you've gone out there and he beat you one day or the next. And uh, we, we just let that go by. And this is what I think the top players of today we can all go out. We could all go out and have dinner together, and we played a tournament and have fun. You know, mm. I don't know whether yeah. that happened with the top players of today. No, I don't think so. Uh, it, I think they're missing out on something because yeah. you know we, we're still well, they were the the and managers and hairdressers and well, well the managers uh, I think ruin it a bit because they don't want you to talk to them in case they, you've got a good idea. Yeah. Uh, but you know, Ken and all these guys, you know, we go nuke and. But, you know, Roachie, we go out and we can have dinner together. Yeah, yeah we played very hard when we were on the court. So how, how did you go after, wasn't it when Ashley won Wimbledon and then you played him in the US Open final, didn't you, a couple of months later? Was yeah. that the year? And so, and then you beat the Wimbledon champion in the US Open. Was that a big shock to him or to you or? Probably to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, well, you know, I, I put a lot of work into it, but yeah, it was always very close with us, you know, who got a bit of a lucky break. And, and to win matches, you always got to have a bit of a lucky yeah. break. Yeah, often there's one point in us. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can go back and say, well, gee, you know, I've got a let court there. Yeah. Otherwise, if it had fallen back on my side, it could have been different. Yeah. So, but Kenny Fletcher always said to win Wimbledon, you need a god on your side. Would you agree with that? Certainly. I think every, anyone who wins Wimbledon, you would say, you've got to have luck, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it's just one of those. Well, there's things. 128 players, and you only got to beat seven of them. Yeah, so it's got to be the right seven. Yeah, you? that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some players, some you play against some players better than others. Yeah, that's you right. Know, yeah, it's very strange just to how the game, uh, their game. Uh, Were there people you feared playing, or you thought you didn't go well against? Uh, 
I always found trouble if I didn't concentrate hard as Rose Wall, because mm -hmm. your natural thing was to go to the backhand, volley, do his backhand. Well, then, you know, that was that was fatal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you and know, he always looked like he wasn't really serving hard. Didn't he? Just go yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirit, but uh, yeah, he, he covered the court well. But and yeah, the, as, uh, as I said, Rod was another one. Uh, you, you'd play close, and then you think, oh, I've just got to serve for the match. That's the last thing you should have thought of. Yeah. Yeah. I much prefer to break him for the match. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks very much, Mel. Your yeah, pleasure. Hi, my name's Ian McCauley and this is my wife Judy. And uh, we're proud to be part of the promotion uh, for the history of uh, Milton tennis courts. 